before the magical world of movies and cinema were invented, and long before Hollywood became famous, there was a contraption called the Magic Lantern. Yes, rich families around the world in the late 1890s to the early 1900s would gather around in their parlor room where they would slip these glass slides into the magic lantern box and magically beautiful images were projected onto the wall. You can only imagine their amazement at this mystical new technology. Well, today we are going to look at some of these antique slides. They are truly amazing. They are a glimpse at historical images of time long ago. This is our last segment on these antique slides, photographic slides. We're going to go ahead and speculate on them. Some of them are over a hundred years old and I just wanted to share these with you. Uh, we have not been able to research very many of them so again I will just show them to you as I am watching them and we can speculate on what they are. A lot of these are World War I slides. Camp Gordon in Atlanta. So a lot of these you're going to be seeing have to do with the camps that they were putting together for World War I. They were taking the dough boys off the farm. They were taking the American boys off the farm and sending them to Europe. And when they came back from Europe, they were never ever going to go back to the farm. They were going to go to the big cities like New York, Chicago, Cleveland. What do we have here? Camp Lewis in Washington. Yes, they don't teach you this history in school today, but what took the American boys off the farm and put them in the big city was World War I. World War II also did it. These are definitely historic photographs that we need to share with the world, YMCA. You would put these in a magic lantern and uh, the magic lantern, lantern would project the image bigger up on a screen in the parlor room. What's this? The headquarters at Camp Lewis. Now you got to remember when they put these camps together in whatever town it may be, the town could be in Texas or Georgia or Washington, wherever these World War I camps popped up, that was a big boom for the local economy. Cities popped up. I mean, here is a perfect example of how the government creates cities because there was nothing there before Camp Lewis, before these camps were there. There were, you know, maybe a small little village, but the government would have to buy up huge tracts of acres and to build these. And then when they shipped these young men in here from all over the country to, for training, the uh, cities grew. cities grew up out of this. The Raymond Hotel. This is Camp Funston at Texas. Outdoor events at Camp Funston, Texas. And and the YMCA played a big part, I guess, in the government, the military, World War I. I guess they're watching a movie or maybe a little theater there in the outdoor event. Historic photographs. 
attached. They were put on glass, of course. These are these photographs were mounted on glass, so they'd work in the lantern, the magic lantern. I'm guessing this is actually over in Europe. This is when the the military men were in Europe. Notice the YMCA sign. Or possibly they were getting ready to ship out. I really don't know for sure. catch on the bag there it actually says New York so I'm guessing these soldiers here were from the New York possibly a New York regiment Camp Lewis is your bow there now these men would be waiting for letters from back home from their girlfriends and their moms and their families this would be mail call so it's interesting that mail call was held right outside of the YMCA at Camp Lewis. These are definitely historic images that prove what was going on at the time. 1917 Americana. Now this is Camp MacArthur, Texas. Edward Kemp was the photographer who put these together. Here we have a soldier writing a letter home. He's actually overseas. So in this photograph, in this photograph, he would be overseas writing a letter back home to his family. Notice the World War I military army hat. Very interesting, a collectible item today. This photograph was by Harold Parker of Pasadena, California. What does that say? It says uh, Camp Lewis in Washington writing home. So these boys are all writing letters back to mom and dad and their girlfriends at Camp Lewis, Washington. This is our last installment of these. I've already made two videos on these on this subject, these old antique glass slides. I've made two, and this will be the last video we have on these. I will add the previous two sections to the end of this video, so this will be the complete, the complete version on the antique photographs. Now we have some sort of wagon here or what wagon convoy I don't know what, what that's about
This is Fort Snelling, Minnesota. Remember, it's uh, interesting how the YMCA is in all these photographs. YMCA building, Fort Snelling, Minnesota. And they told the boys, don't forget to write home to your mom and dad because your mom and dad was nice enough to lend you out to the government to go save Europe. How interesting. That the parents would say, okay, boy, you got to go. They're te the government wants you to go over there and fight for Europe. Don't forget to, to write home to mom and dad because they okayed it. The boys just do as they're told, huh? What do we got here? They consider these novelty slides. I guess if you were to put them in the magic lantern and you, you were in the parlor, some sort of novelty, it's not really, it's strange. I mean, today we're looking at this as, as historic, historic photographs, but back then it was a novelty thing. And maybe novelty meant entertainment. It's funny how words change over time. And it would probably be more like entertainment than novelty. This is a Presbyterian church. This is the YMCA hut in France. So again, historical proof that not only was the YMCA working with the military in America, but they were also over in Europe. This is the YMCA building in France. You are looking at historic Photograph from over a hundred years ago. Now this is my favorite. I'm gonna I'll be honest with you. This is my favorite Because this is the they use gas back in World War one They use gas and many of the German French military men were to suffer from this gas and This and look at the sign what it says there our soldier or no our slogan Best for the man in the mud. This is the this is my favorite here because the slogan was best for the man in the mud. See, it was really muddy terrain and muddy. Everything was. We were in the trenches of World War One, and you would get trench mouth, trench mouth, trench feet. That mud was vicious, and of course. There you got a guy in the mud, in the mud, in the trenches of World War One, but that gas mass could save him from the gases. Of course, the old men, all the old men back home, they were not to go there, of course, yes. These, these are the old men who send the young men to do battle, yes. They're fine gentlemen, fine upstanding pillars of the community. Yes, we'll send your young man to the muddy trenches of World War I. How nice of the old bastards to send your son into the mud. What is this one? This is Camp Lewis again. YMCA building, Camp Lewis. Nothing ever changes. You got guys like George Bush and his daughters would never ever go overseas. You got Donald Trump and his sons and daughters will never ever go overseas. It's men like George Bush and Bill Clinton and Donald Trump that will send your boy over there. Yeah, they'll send your boy over there, but they won't send their daughters. You'll never see George Bush's daughters going. You'll never see any of Donald Trump's sons and daughters going. So we're going to wind this segment down. Antique slides. Now this is kind of interesting too. It's the Echo tram that goes up the mountain. Nice way to take a trip up the hill.
This is in Chico, California. Issued by the this is okay, Southern Pacific. Yeah, some of the train stations uh, would issue, or some of the trains would hire photographers to go out and get these photographs. And I think you could probably buy these on the trains when you took a train trip across the country. So here we are, we're back to my favorite. This is the man in the mud, it says there, our slogan best for our man in the mud. And it might have something to do with Australia. That, that slogan, I think, might have came from down under in Australia. So here you have it. Historical photographs from over a hundred years ago. Showing how life was back then. I present to you our collection of glass slides. Now this one could be from Camp Lewis in Tacoma, Washington. We're not sure about the bottom one there. We know that they are from 1917. Now the top one is the kitchen crew at Camp Lewis, Washington. That was near Tacoma, Washington. Now in 1917, all across America, the United States government opened up camps all across the nation. I'm going to be showing you a few slides from different locations, even one from Waco, Texas. But this is interesting. This is the kitchen crew from Camp Lewis. Now remember, Camp Lewis would now be called Fort Lewis. These glass slides were all the rage in the early 1900s. I mean, there was no movies. There were no movies. There was no Hollywood. What do we have here? I think this is the uh, hospital. Remember the flu. The flu was vicious in 1917. Many people died of the flu. Uh, came back from the, across the pond from uh, Europe, the big war. Now it says here, just arrived. Camp Lewis, again, this is Camp Lewis. They have a big lake up there. I believe the lake is called American Lake. We'll keep on going. Some of them were even hand-colored. We've talked about that before, hand-embellished. Here we have a soldier being looked after by the nurse inside a cathedral church. Beautiful. Think of this, 1917. Think of this piece of artwork, a photograph on glass, and then you would put it in the magic lantern and just project it up on the wall. It would have been amazing technology back in 1917, even as early as the late 1800s. Again, we have Camp Lewis in Washington. Have the tents. The Doughboys. Now the American boys that they took off the farm and sent to Europe for World War I were called the Doughboys. Now here's the interesting one from Camp MacArthur in Waco, Texas. This camp was named after Douglas MacArthur's father. Douglas MacArthur, the great general of World War II, where his father uh, died right before World War I. They named it after him. And uh, after World War I, Camp MacArthur was shut down and they used all the materials to set up uh, buildings and structures in other locations, like along the border. I believe a lot of the buildings at Camp MacArthur were torn down and used along the border stations for buildings there. And of course, Camp MacArthur was taken over by the city of Waco. Very, very interesting. Glass slides.
So here we are again, and we're going to open the box to see what kind of mystical treasures we can find. Here we have the magic lantern glass slides. Again, these come from the late 1800s, early 1900s. Here we have, some of them said novelty slides. Others have the name of the photographer on there. We'll get to that later. The ones we're going to see today are from around 1917, World War I era. They are amazing. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now I did not count them all up, but we must have at least over 50 of them in here. If you're wondering what the retail price on over 50 of them would be, it would be well, well over one or two thousand dollars. Okay, here this is an interesting uh, slide. It's basketball under the auspices of the YMCA at Camp Gordon, Atlanta. Now Camp Gordon is now called Fort Gordon. Again, these would be 1917. This one is made by Edward Henry Kemp. Kemp was born in 1868. He died in 1948. He was a famous photographer whose photos were published in the Sunset Magazine between 1898 and 1914. He had a studio in San Francisco and he traveled extensively all over the world creating this beautiful artwork. As we said, he was a photographer and he put his work on these glass slides and you would slide these glass slides into the magic lantern. Some of those were some of them were hand tinted or hand painted like this, sometimes called hand embellished. Now here we have a Canadian baseball player sliding home. So today you have seen images of basketball playing and 1917, basketball and baseball.